large flathead screwdriver. I'm going to remove this. But first of all, if the seal's on over here, the Microsoft seal, you want to pull that off. Get the screwdriver in between the two edges. And you want to go around the whole console. You want to hear the snap. Be a little bit careful just here. T10 screwdriver. All the green screws have got to come out. Back of the console. Pull the two edges out that way. Discard the cover. This is the fan cover. We're just going to leave that on just for a second. We're going to turn the console over. to locate where the hard drive and the power supply are. We want to remove these screws here for the power supply and we want to move these screws here for the hard drive. We're going to take them all out because the hard drive more or less sits on top of the power supply. Makes it much easier if you just take the, all the screws out. Don't need to remove this one here because that's for the Blu-ray drive. So let's turn it back over. <clears throat> take the cover off. The hard drive is now free so we can just pull this up this needs to come out before you can get the power supply but while you're at this and while we're talking about it if you want to change the hard drive at all uh, then what you do is you just need to pull these two plugs out you will also need to, with a Torx T8, remove these four screws here and then these four screws on the outside here to get this caddy off. Once the hard drive is off, you can pull this uh, the hard drive connector off, then you can change your hard drive. But if you're changing your hard drive, just bear in mind uh, that you need to put the operating system onto it afterwards with an OSU1 file. If you see my other videos, we'll show you how to do that. Okay. Now what we want to do is put the hard drive back in. So two connectors, one two. The hard drive sits on top of the power supply just over there. Make sure it's in properly. Cover goes back on. Just going to hold the cover. We might have to take it off again in a minute. First of all, we want to get all these small torque screwdrivers back in to these holes here. Most of the holes say C4, C5, uh, C3 over there, and C1 and C C2 over here as well. Get the screws back in.
B2 screw over here as well. The F screws are the long green ones, we'll come to that shortly. Make sure all these are in, make sure they're all nice and tight. If they're not nice and tight, then the uh, the cover, the, the top of the case won't go on properly. So you want to make sure that they're all in place. If you can't get the screws to go in, by the way, get your hand underneath and push up at the power supply or at the, uh, the hard drive to make sure that the, uh, the power supply the screws are finding the holes for the power supply and the hard drive. Once those screws are in, I can turn it back over for now. BD drive is. This is the top shell, okay? Notice where the DB drive slot is there as well. This has got to go into there. So let's take the console. We're going to turn it upside down so that it lines up with this here, okay? With this here, this board, this is the on-off switch here, this white little switch. Make sure you don't damage this, okay? Really careful. The amount of times we've done this, it's easy to do if you've never done it before. So be careful when you're doing this bit here. You put the console into the shell like this, as far down as it'll go, be gentle. Don't force anything, okay? When it feels like it's in place, lift it up. You just heard it slot in there a little bit and you want to line up this case here to get that groove lined up like that and here the snap. You want to do the same with this bit at this end as well, okay? Like that. Okay, that's it. Great. Both sides you can see a fitting flush. So now we can put the screws back in. Also, test the on-off button. Test all the buttons first, okay? You want to hear that you want to hear that switch going there. Green buttons, green screws in. Okay, that feels about right. Once you've done that, you can get the bottom of the case, line it up, make sure it's the way way around, which is this way here. You fit it on and it will just clip straight down. Okay, make sure it's flush all the way around. There you go. 